Let's look at some of the new features in the Google Classroom. <clears throat> As you know, Google Classroom is being rolled out this week to all schools worldwide. A couple of features that were really um, requested are in the new version, one being having a, an about page, a place where you can put contact information and your syllabus and any other materials you want to add for your classroom. So there's now a link to the about page where you can add materials and when you click on it you can give a title and then attach uh, from your computer, Google Drive, a video, or a URL. What's most exciting is that in the classroom you have the ability to create assignments, push them out to students, and the minute they start working on them, you can have the ability to, to give feedback, to view them, and to comment on them. So I'm going to create an assignment. I'll call this Water Cycle Fast Facts and Draw. Collaborative Draw. Okay, and I would add a description here and a due date, so I'll put the due date here. And I'm going to actually grab a file uh, from my drive. I've created this assignment. They can use this doc and replace the directions as they go along with their content. And that way that they, they only have to work with one doc. They don't have to have an assignment page and their own doc. This will be the assignment and they'll replace the directions with their content as they go along. And I'm going to, I could say students can view the file students can edit the file, but in this case I want to make a copy for each student because they're literally going to build their doc right there. So by making a copy it will push uh, the oper this doc out to each student once they click on the assignment. So I click on assign. This has been assigned to all the students in my class. If I click on students, you can see I have these students in my course. If I go back to the stream and then click on the assignment, you can see that none of it's done, but there's a folder. And that folder will collect all those assignments. But there's nothing in that folder yet. And there won't be until students start working on the assignments. Cameron is one of the students. He's logged into the course. And he sees the assignment here, so he opens it. Upon launching the assignment link, he has access to the doc that's created just for him with his name on it. There it is. And now he has his instructions and he can go ahead and create a new product as he goes along. So he can edit it and modify it and make it what he needs, needs it to be. So let's say he'd gotten this far and he's getting his drawing in. So he's off to a start and I, the teacher, can now log in to my classroom. So Cameron, we're going to leave you and go back to the classroom. And I'll go back to the home page and I can see that um, nobody's passed it in yet. But if I click on the assignment now, I can say, hmm, who's working on it? I can see that it's not done, not done, not done. That means it's not been submitted or turned in. But if I click on the folder, any student who has accessed the assignment and begun working on the doc now has a document in the folder that I can just click to open and add feedback on. So if I want to add comments or formative assessment, I can. The student will see the feedback and be able to work on the assignment. When the student, let's go back to Cameron, is ready to turn it in, simply can click on turn it in in the classroom or directly from the doc. Just clicking on turn it in up at the top will allow Cameron to submit the work for grading and even leave uh, add a note if he needs to.
and click on Turn It In. Now, the students turned it in. Let's see what the teacher sees. On the teacher side, just refresh my screen. I didn't actually have to refresh. It's uh, instantly updated. So Cameron has passed it in. So if I click on his name, it, it says, OK, uh, here's the link to the assignment. And he left me a note here as well. If I want to grade it, I just click here to grade. And I can see that I've assigned 100 points to this. So I just go in here and add 100. And then Cameron has a grade for this assignment. I can now return it back to him with feedback. Great work. And we all know that we give more descriptive feedback than that. And I return that to Cameron. What does Cameron see? Well, he sees that it came back to him. And he's got his feedback. And he's got his grade. So you can see that the, this simple improvement with this next uh, version of Google Classroom is a huge uh, progress for us, uh, for teachers, and um, makes the product uh, more interactive and more valuable to all. All right, so that's uh, just an overview of the two new uh, features that are rolling out with Classroom this week. Thanks for watching.